has come up on my computer. So I do believe I'm live. Um, I'll give it a, I beg your pardon, I'll give it a minute. Um, uh, if anybody can see and hear me, uh, could you please send me a wave or, oh, sorry, or say hello. It would be nice to know that I'm not here on my own. Um, <sighs> it says, this. oh, hello, Andrea. Thank you, dear. Um, oh, and another face has popped up, but I don't know who that is. I can't see from here. <laughs> oh, this technology is wonderful, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's start. Start as we mean to go on, yes? Be strong. Right, my name's Carrie and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the UK and I am one half of Two Big Girls Crafting, which is why I'm sending my Facebook Live through the Two Big Girls Crafting Facebook page. Um, I put up a poster where I, a wee while ago, a couple of hours ago, asking which of two kits, hi Heather, you'd like to see me play with today. I haven't used either of them before, um, so I thought, you know what, I'll just be surprised and see what everybody wants me to have a play with. And I have the winning kit here. Hi Sandy, hi Ali. <laughs> I have the winning kit here in front of me, um, but I don't know if you're going to see it yet because, oh, there's one more person, come on. I'm, oh, 10 people watching me. Thank you all so much for joining me. I find this incredibly nerve wracking, um, but I'm going to keep at it because I don't like to let things beat me. So here we go. Hi, Kay. Nice to see you. Well, I can't see you, but you can see me. You know what I mean. Anyway. Hi, Jenny. How are you doing, honey? Um, I completely lost my thread then. <laughs> it was my birthday yesterday, so I'm a lot older now than I was the day last week. So, you know, that explains everything. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Should we actually have a look at the kit that everybody chose? Because that's really what you've come to see, not me. So hang on and bear with. Hi, hi Sue. Hopefully I won't make you too seasick and this will work. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Oh, there is a box. You can see the box. Oh, no, the stand isn't quite tight enough. Oh, dear. Uh, that's, oh, you can see it. And I have to just plug myself in because, of course, my phone has uh, decided it doesn't want to be full up. Oh, that's a relief because it was only 23%. Now that you can't see me, I can open the curtains and let a bit more light in, I hope. Uh, let's pull this forward a little bit. Hopefully you can see and it's not too shadowy. Hi, Kay. From North Carolina. Wow, wheeze, that's a long way away. I don't know, is you very early or very late where you are? It's, oh, thank you, Kay. That's very kind of you to share. Okay, so, drum roll please, bum, 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 bum. the kit that was chosen by you guys is the Note of Cheer. Now, in Two Big Girls world, we have what we call Make It Simple Mondays. Make It Simple Mondays are days where we keep it simple. We can make SIP cards, stamp inks and paper. We use kits. We aim this day to those who are just beginning their crafting journeys or their stamping up journeys. Um, and also to those who need cards in a flash. Or Jill, the other two big girl, loves a kit for inspiration. Now, I haven't played with this. I have opened the packaging, but I haven't played with it. So, should we have a look at what's inside this kit? This kit is a whole whopping £11.25 here in the UK. And as you saw, it comes with photo instructions. So, it's there for everybody. And the thing I love about these instructions is they have a ruler. 
alongside in inches and centimetres. So it's good for everybody. And on the back, it just shows you what the components are. So, ah, it also tells you what the coordinating colours are. The ones in this pack are Evening Evergreen, Pale Papaya and Polished Pink. They are beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at what's mine. We don't want the brown card. Although I might need it as a fan because I'm getting very hot here in the UK. It's been like autumn all last week, but yesterday, today, it's turned out to be rather nice. Okay, so first things first. Oh, wow. The nice thing about these kits are there's no stamping. This is literally just a put together kit. But the sentiments are in English, French, German and Dutch. I think I've got those two round the right way. Uh, I'm not fluent in any of those languages. I do worry sometimes about my English. But hey-ho. So we have different coloured sentiments. This one's, These ones are You Make Life Brighter and A Little Note of Cheer, which is a good one because that actually is the name of the kit. The kit is called A Little Note of Cheer. And then we have sentiments here as well. Uh, I am here for you today and always. Three of those. And we have You're on my mind and in my heart. That's a nice sentiment, isn't it? You're on my mind and in my heart. And these are cardstock. They're laser cut, so they pop out nice and easily. All clean and tidy. Oh, we got some sparkly bits. I does like a bit of sparkle. Not quite as much as our friend Lizzie, but I do like a bit of bling. And these are iridescent, so they pick up all the colours there. Oh, look at these laser cut butterflies. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely stunning. These are, I do believe, card front pieces. So we have three of these because we're going to make three cards like that. We have our double sided glue dots. So we don't even need glue for this kit. We have 3D mini 3D foam. We call them dimensionals in Stamping Up World, but they're basically 3D foam, but really good ones. And then we have these beautiful laser cut and coloured card fronts. Aren't they pretty? They are white on the other side, so if you didn't like the colours, you could choose your own colours. But there are three of those. And then we have three plain white card blanks. <laughs> three butterfly card blanks. White on the inside, so nice and easy to write on. And three, I'm going to call them rainbows, because they're kind of rainbows. Rainbow card fronts, which are white on the inside as well. They also all come pre-scored, so you don't need any tools whatsoever for this kit. Everything is here for you, oh, including the envelopes. And boy, are they beautiful. One, two, three blue stripy ones. One, two, three. Three green with white butterflies. How pretty. And my favourite. I love a bit of pink. Pink with a nice geometric design. The envelopes are gorgeous. Now, it all comes in a neat box, so it keeps everything together. So this makes for a great gift for a new crafter. Make a great Christmas present for somebody or a birthday present. Maybe for your daughter or your granddaughter or for yourself. If you're looking to go on holiday and you're a crafter and short of space, you could definitely, definitely take this away with you. It's lightweight, it doesn't take up a lot of space, but it is strong. And you get to keep the box afterwards to store everything in. So let's start off with a look at these cards. So when I do a kit, I look at each of the cards and I work out which bits go with which card. Now, I'm not going to be doing three of each of the cards 
I'm going to do one of each first and see how we get on. So we're going to need one of those and they sit on the plain white card base. So I'll fold, fold that. Now, not included in this kit, but something that I certainly think every self-respecting crafter needs is a good bone folder because a good crisp fold certainly makes all the difference in my mind so i i'm choosing to do look at that one and they've got it rotated that way so i need that and then i need two sentiments because on here it has one of the little yellow ones and one of the blue ones so let's go and find a blue sentiment first i'm going to pop him out carefully they do have little pips on them and a tip I have been told before is you can get a nail file see just an ordinary nail file will just sand the pips off for you Ooh, I've got a bit of a fluff on that one too let's have a look at that what's that see that's a little bit extra there we don't need so we just use the nail file to defluff it oh and there's another piece there ah, good job i got my nail file trusty nail file okay so we have a sentiment and we need a yellow sentiment the yellow sentiment says i am here for you today and always it's not actually yellow i think it's pale papaya but whatever color it is it's very pretty Okay, so that's going to sit underneath there, like so. So, now, how are we going to stick this on? Well, we're going to use 3D foam for our main sentiment, a little note of cheer. So the nice thing about these is that they come double-sided and they're easy to peel the backings off the backings peel off you just press your nail into the center gently and off they pop the biggest problem with it, <laughs> these is they get everywhere i've had them up the stairs i've had them in my bed everywhere absolutely everywhere so we'll keep that to one side because we don't want to stick it down where we don't want it and the next thing i'm going to do is put my 3d's on the back of here so I'm going to peel off and place it in the corner I don't know if you can see that I've literally just popped that into the corner and again it's double sided so it comes off and lo and behold oh I don't know you can see it's a little glue dot so let's pop one of those in each of the four corners because they seem to be good places to put them. And we are on our way to having finished our first card. Now I'm, I've been crafting a long time and when I look at these beautiful laser cut pieces, I, my brain is going, oh, I could use that as a mask. I could put beautiful coloured inks through there. I could blend with my blending brushes. I could put paste through them. It'd be great. There's so much you could do. Now, line up, make sure that your card is opening in the correct direction. Because sometimes we make mistakes and uh, they go become what I call Australian cards upside down. So I'm going to pop my beautiful filigree piece in the centre. Oops, Daisy. And when I'm happy, I press down. As long as you don't press down, then they're not. They're a little bit flexible. You can get where you're going with these. Okay. So now I want to line that up with there. So I think what I'm going to do is actually put my big blue banner across the centre and I 
yeah like that I'm then going to take some more little glue dots on that end and one this end and one in the middle oops sorry about that now I don't have much in the way of fingernails um, and sometimes it can be a struggle I do have a tool that helps me but I'm trying to do this kit as if I had absolutely nothing with me so I can get the full experience okay so I have my glue dots the got rid of the backings whatever we want to call that and I'm going to very carefully pop that slightly underneath my sentiment and voila my first card is made I think that's super I think it's absolutely beautiful and really gorgeous and it goes with the blue stripey envelope so we'll find the envelope now who wouldn't be happy to receive that in the post I certainly would let's put that one to one side and we'll move on to the next one so we need the butterfly and again this is pre-scored so we're going to fold it and use our bone folder to score it and the nice thing is it will stand up so don't panic it's not one of these things that you can't can't use you can I mean you could do so much with this you could mount it onto a much bigger card base you could do all sorts now this is a super simple card we just want the one sentiment oh let's get it out the right piece sorry about this <laughs> make you make my life brighter so gently as i say don't be heavy-handed don't be in a rush they will all come out but we don't want to spoil them for the want of two seconds and that goes across there so i think we'll use some 3d foam and pop that up on there one two and three oh, i think <laughs> they're very sticky <laughs> so sticky they stuck to me so a nail in the middle to help release them scoop the dressings away okay so we're going to line up our butterfly on my grid paper i like using grid paper because it, a it saves the mess and b it gives me nice straight lines to work with so when i've got that centered and i'm happy i'm just going to pop it down how easy is that but look at the effect how pretty is that and again a nice envelope now you will notice that I haven't used any of these yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the third one and then I'll go back in and add the, the bling. So for the final card design, we've got the beautiful rainbow background. We're going to use our bone folder. You can use your nail. Old habits die hard. So we've got an we then have one of the lovely la laser cut butterfly panels to place on top now do i want to go flat or do i want to raise it up does it make much difference hmm flat or layer up i don't know look at it from a distance and see what i think i'm going to go for 3d because i like a bit of texture and a bit of depth on a panel two three four oh itchy nose sorry and one there to support the butterflies and one look i'm getting a right old pickle with these am i today they're getting everywhere okay so we're nail in the middle 
take off the backings. Now this is another one that would make an absolutely stunning mask to use your pastels through or blending your watercolours through if you're careful. I think it's gorgeous. You could also, if you're very patient, you could actually fussy cut around the mole to create individual butterflies. Lovely. You could colour the whole thing, use it as a mask, and then you'd have the impression on there and you'd have a coloured mask. Gorgeous. Loads and loads of ideas are flooding in at the moment. Okay, so we pop that down there, make it as square as I can because I can't see over the top because there's a camera in the way. Okay, and the final sentiment for this one is one of the green ones when I can find them. Here we go. You're on my mind and in my heart. A lovely thing to say. Okay, so gently remove that. Take the nail file and just get rid of the pip. Now these have little holes in them. I do believe we need to poke them through. Now, I'm very fortunate. I'm an avid crafter. I have lots of stash. I have a take your pip tool. But if you don't have a take your pick tool, what are you going to use? Uh, you could use a pencil. Let's see if that'll work. Yep, works beautifully. Straight through. And because we're not going to be using these little dots for anything, I can put a mark on them without any worries. And this little one does not want to come out, does it? Ooh. See, this is when fingernails would be really handy. And why I don't have any. <laughs> right, three and three this side. One, two, three. Come on, you little, little pickles. Out you come. So there we are. There's my sentiment. Thanks to my pencil. And where are we going to pop that? I think we'll pop that down there. But you know what? I think we're going to use, we're going to go flat. Oh, look, these things get everywhere. So we're going to turn that over. And we're going to take one off and pop it there. And one off and pop it there. So we have two little glue dots. Let's take the backings off of those when they come away. <laughs> Ah, there we go. So two glue dots. Make sure the sentiment's up the right way. Make sure your card's up the right way. And uh, let's go down here. Make sure it's on straight. And there you go. How quick and simple was that? All the time I'm playing with this, my mind is going, oh, I could do this, I could do that. I could mix it up I could make it bigger I could make it smaller there's the envelope so kits are great for inspiring you so if you've not been crafting a while or you're having what we call a loss of mojo these could be the answer to your crafting needs Okay, so I have now got three cards. I have a packet of pretty, sparkly, iridescent rhinestone gems. I don't know what you're going to call And they come in two sizes. How cool is that? So, what shall I start with? Shall I start with this one? I think I'm going to put a big one down here with a little one next to it. And then I'm going to repeat that over here. Mm, let's put one there. And a little one up here. What do you think? Don't they add something to it, those sparkles? They just bring it to life, really. So, and I tell you what, I think I'm going to put a third one, another one down here because I work in threes. <laughs> I have to have three odd numbers of things on my cards, like embellishments. So I have one, two, three, four, so I need to put one more on. So I think I'm going to put it, 
pop it down here near my sentiment. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for a bigger one because they're beautiful and they need to be looked at. So that's that card with the bling on it. Now the butterfly. Oh, a butterfly's wings are iridescent, aren't they? So I am literally just going to randomly pop my... Uh, I don't want them to be symmetrical. I want them to be more random. So I'm going to pop them like that. And some little ones over here. And one small, small one, I think, will go there. Oh, no, they're maybe not there. Maybe there. What do we think? I think that looks really pretty. I love that. And for the final card, I think we'll just put a couple there and a couple there. We could just put one there. And one here. And maybe a small one by its side. Just put the three on that one. I don't know how many gems you get in here. Hang on, let me have a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen 12, 14. times five is uh, uh, 15, 30, 60, 75 minus five, 70. So that's quite a lot there. You know, you got enough to play with there. So that is my three cards following the sample um, that they come with. And that is as hard as you need to make it. You don't need to make card making as a great big difficult thing. Hey Nita, it is a lovely kit. It's gorgeous and I think it opens up a wealth of possibilities to those of us who've been doing it a while. I think it would be great for those who are just looking for a little something to do and have their first taste of crafting, card making, or for someone to give us a gift. Because you never know, you're not just giving them the gift of the card to make the cards, they then have the joy that is sending a card to somebody. Card making has many layers. It's not just about the pleasure you, you get from making a card. It's about giving a card as well. When you see somebody open a card that you've made and they, the look on their face is priceless. It's so worth it. It's just amazing. I love card making. It's great. Fun. you meet fantastic people and it's good for your soul it makes you feel good about yourself when you make a card and give it to somebody because there's a little bit of you goes with that card perfect to travel with Sandy you're so right I think this kit is not just for beginners I think it's for everybody and I think we all need sometimes in our crafting career to step back and take a look at the simpler things and this kit looks amazing is easy to reproduce the cards as stamping up have designed them but they allow us the opportunities and inspire us to create more so on that note i'm gonna say goodbye because i have made the three cards and my mind is a whirl and it's been half an hour and my Facebook lives are always short. <laughs> That's one advantage. And I do hope you'll stick around and look at um, the rest of the blog and Facebook posts for this week that Jill's designing. Um, featuring the pampered pets, which is so cute. Um, don't forget it's celebration time. So if you are purchasing anything at the moment and you spend qualifying purchase, which is £45 in the UK, you can receive one of the free exclusive gifts. If you don't have a demonstrator in, and you'd like to purchase some of these products, 
please, we'd love to be your demos. Um, if you're interested in looking at perhaps become a demonstrator yourself, we have a wonderful community of crafters called the Larger Than Life Stampers. They're amazing, simply amazing. Um, and at the moment, Stamping Up During Celebration is, ha has a special offer. You pay £99 for your kit, which includes, a hun you get to pick £130 worth of goodies of your choice, which you could include these kits. And then you get to pick an absolutely gorgeous bundle. And a bundle in Stamping Up terms means a stamp set with either a coordinating punch or coordinating dies for free. It is from a list from the, uh, I keep wanting to call it the winter catalogue or the Christmas catalogue and it's, it's not anymore. It's now called the August to December mini catalogue. <laughs> so it's really autumn and winter, but it's got lots of lovely goodies in it. Um, and you may well see some of those next week if you care to join me. So, if anybody's interested in anything, just ping me a message. Jill and I will get back to you ASAP. And it's been lovely. Thank you for joining me. Hello, Yvonne. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.